episode to create a workflow so basically now let me explain you about the project requirement so we have to create a uh, custom workflow it's a basically a mover workflow or a job transfer workflow you can just consider so in this particular workflow we are going to add a uh, debug step just to further validation we also need to add uh, some a transition step from which step it should go to which step like that next we also need to add an email notification step to trigger the notifications and finally we have to certify that particular user okay so the main intention is any if any person's department has been transferred or changed okay so their identity needs to undergo the certification so that identity needs to undergo a review so that is the intention of creating this custom workflow so let's go to setup business process here click on uh, new give a name for the business process so i'm just giving like a department transfer workflow click on okay type i am putting as identity life cycle description if you want you can put it else you can ignore it next to process variables so basically we have five process variables what is meant by this process variables means so process variables will be acting like an arguments that you will be passing input arguments or input variables that you will be passing it to the process designer so we have five process variables so what are they let me just type it over here so those are event so based upon a life cycle event this workflow will be triggered okay well, first the life cycle event will be launched and post that within that a workflow is being uh, mentioned and that workflow gets executed next trigger so we need a trigger point right so once we have changed an attribute that a department attribute to one some particular department then only this event will be launched generally if you change the department or if you change it to some other values it is won't be triggered so you need a proper triggering point hence we need a trigger as one of the process variable post to that we require an uh, id like trace so trace is used to, to capture the logs okay so capture the logs means capture the trace logs whatever the trace logs that are available just to see what when the step got started when the step got ended so this information you can be able to check it out okay that's all Just give me a minute, guys. All right. So let's just continue. So where I was, yeah, trace. So trace is helpful to capture the trace logs. Okay. Like, um, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, there was some network issue. So trace trigger uh, event trigger trace post that identity display name. this you will be using to certify that particular user so identity display name and finally we will be using the attribute pos so end of the day we are changing a department right so department is an attribute right so that we are just marking over here as a process variable so these are the five process variables that we will be using for the uh, workflow implementation So let's create it one after the other. Click on Add New Variable. Give a name here. So I'm just giving like event. Mark it like an input over here and just save it. Only for the first process variables you can just save it. Remaining you don't need to save it every time. You can just click on this drop down. I'll show you. So for example, Add New Variable Trigger. Pass it like an input variable and click on this drop down. Done. again add new variable trace so trace is a component that you need to enable it enabling means you need to make it like true so click on string make it like a true and then 
So we'll have lose this again. Add new variable. Put it like identity. This layer name. So pass it like an input. So you can just put it like scroll down. You can just write a script over here. Open the editor. Event dot get identity full name. Save it. Next, last one that is attribute cost. Event dot get cost. Save. Next, go to the process designer. Okay. So in this process designer only, you will be adding the, the step sequence of steps. Click on add step, start, stop. You can just drag it over here also. I need three steps like this. One step I want to put it over here. Or else you can drag it and drop it also. It's completely your choice. Like this, okay? And you can just connect these things like from here to here, here to here. And from here to here. Also from here to here. Done. It creates a transition step with this here, right? So this particular step is called as a transition step. So now let's start putting some code in. So logical says this generic step, we mark it like a debug step. So you can just name it like a debug step. You can write a small script over here, open the editor, and you can put the piece of code. So what is that piece of code? Implementer training. The initial uh, workflow debug steps. This is just for the validation and null checks that I just kept it here. Nothing much I have added over the piece of code here. You can just check it out. So I was checking the step not equal to null, event not equal to null, trigger not equal to null. That's it. Just save it. Save it. Generic step two, this is for sending email. So you don't need to write a script, you already have a default method that you are supposed to use. Send email and then save it. Again, we'll come back to this in email to add the email arguments. Okay. And finally, this generic step. This one is like creating certification. Create 
certification. So here also you can just write a small script. This script will be a bit complex, but you can just understand it. I have kept some comments for you to make it simple. So generate certification script. Copy this from here. Paste it over there. Save it. And save this. This is being done. If you want to change these icons also, you can just change it because everything is equally right. So you can just change uh, or add icons like this format. Okay, this is all you can just add it. Now we are going to add this transition step. So click on edit transitions. And here you can just add the transition step. If you want to put an email to first and then to create certification, you can click on this particular arrow button. It will take like send email to the top and uh, create certification to the bottom. So click on this script. So here also script will be writing the same script we will be writing it. So let me just type in event dot get object is a method dot get attribute. department dot equals IT department or IT management you can just type okay the same piece of code you can copy it because what is the what we are mentioning here? We are specifying to which department it gets changed. This event should be triggered. So that is the intention of specifying this logic. Save it. This is done. Now you can just save this particular workflow. Now we are supposed to import one email template that we will be putting under the email argument. So what we are supposed to do, go to settings, global settings. Scroll down, import from file. Browse it. You can just go to uh, config. Scroll down to the bottom, workflow training email template, import. Copy this name of the template. Done. Now go to that workflow. Process designer, send email, edit step, go to the arguments, add new argument, type it like template, here use the string, paste the name of the template that we just copied, we have imported that and we have copied that template name, right, that you need to put it over here, next add new arguments, to whom you wanted to send to address, you need to put. You can write a small script. Open the editor. So get email. Identity name. Okay, we are uh, mentioning the two address. We are getting the email of that person whose department is changed. The next thing is we are going to get the person who has changed the department, who is called as a launcher in Salesforce. CC script get email of launcher like this. Save it. Save this. Done. Okay, we are done with all the configuration. Just save the entire flow. So once you have done with this, I missed one small thing, I believe, uh, to enable the negate option. 
let me just check it out edit transitions so there should be a negate option should be selected over here why because to make sure if any true or false case the email needs to be sent so i'm just saving it so this is being done post to that now we are going to create the life cycle event okay so before we create a life cycle event also we are supposed to make the department attribute as editable so if you just click on add new life cycle event if you change this event type to attribute change you will not be able to see the department attribute over here so we are supposed to make it editable and then only we will be able to see that so how we can do that you can just go ahead to settings global settings identity mapping department searchable you can enable it and make it like permanent scroll down and then save it done once this is being done now go ahead to set up policies no not the policies go to uh, set up life cycle events let's create a life cycle event now yeah so click on add new new life cycle event mover i'm putting it naming it like mover event so uh, event type attribute change and select the business process or this one then scroll down and then save it so now let's test the case go to identities identity warehouse open any identity click on edit change this to it management like this and then save it once you have saved it a workflow will be launched an event will be should be triggered and a workflow should be launched you can just check it out in the identity itself you can open the identity go to the event see whether any event is been launched triggered or not see a mover event is successfully launched you can see here the details now go to the certification see whether the certification got created or not see a certification got successfully created this is the targeted certification that got created you can also check the task result also checking whether this mover event is launched or not so these are all the ways that you can just see whether the event is been launched or failed or by any means like that you can validate the validation okay